Justin from Beyond Your Front Door. We're out for a weekend winter camp in the truck camper in the snow. We just rode through a big snowstorm to get here. And uh, this is the end of the road, the end of the maintained road. You can't get any further up that way. There's signs saying no turnaround. And I know the altitude just increases down that road I've been there before. I found this little turnaround spot. It's a place where snowmobiles come and stage, but it will do for tonight. There's another snowmobile here. I'm sure they'll be calling it a day very soon. Got a couple of uh, things to do around the camper today. A couple things I want to try out. I'll bring you along. And uh, I got some nice food to cook. I was hoping for a fire. There's some fire rings here, but they're completely buried in the snow. Back there. I think it'll just be a quiet night, mostly inside the truck camper tonight. First thing that I want to try out today is this new addition, a Fox Landing. Um, this one I got for a good deal used, pretty happy with it. Took a little more messing around to install it than I expected, but I think it'll be nice once it's done. This is great, isn't it? I'm up in, well, the mountains, just beginning of the mountains at least. I always say that getting out of town into the mountains, the air is different. I sleep so much better. I was just trying my bed to see how it feels with the truck been a little unlevel. And I fell asleep for probably an hour and a half which supports my theory that the air up here is so good that you always sleep better. I woke up and it's snowing just lightly. I'll show you. I don't think there's much chance of finding one of those fire pits tonight. What a shame. Sitting down reading a book. Just had a snack, hot cross bun. I love these. Reminds me of my childhood. And just a cup of green tea, which not so much childhood, but still wonderful. It's actually really, really quiet and peaceful up here. Exactly why I come here. All right, I'm gonna go finish this. This was gonna be a really nice dinner. Except I forgot one of the main ingredients, so I'm just going to wing it and make do. It's going to be an, an egg and sweet potato fry. Something I found on the internet. 
It's supposed to have baby spinach, which I forgot. So we're going to try this with some salad. However, to get in the spirit, innocent gun, lager. We'll give that a try. Not too bad. Those Scots know what they're doing for beer. All right, first thing I got to do is cut and grate these up. So I just bought this this morning, actually. Works all right. Dollar store special. It gives like $2. Things that you don't realize you don't have any camper. Part one done. Garbage away. My other dollar store purchase. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna be lazy and put this right in there. Okay, part one done. Here's where I'm really regretting not having water because I can clean up so much quicker and easier. Because I'm ad-libbing this recipe, I'm also going to throw a few mushrooms in. All right, we're going to cast iron pan this. First thing is to add some butter to this. I uh, am regretting not straightening the camper up because oh, my pan's not level and everything's coming over to the side here. A bit of curry and a little bit of cayenne. Kind of flavoring to my tastes. Oh, that smells good. And we'll throw these in. These are grated sweet potatoes. Let's see if I can make do with a little bit of salad instead of spinach. Not ideal. Throw a little bit of the salad in. All right, the next step is to add some egg. According to this, you make a couple of egg sized scoops with a spoon, cook some eggs in it. Got to admit, this sounds a lot better than it looks. I kind of made a mess of it. Hmm. And it's messy in the camper too. So this is definitely not the prettiest plate of food that I've ever made. Question is, what does it taste like? So I'm going to give it a try. Eggs are certainly cooked nicely. Could have been a little bit runnier, but that's okay. One of them looked like it needed a couple more minutes just to be safe. I always want to be safe with eggs. It's interesting. Sweet and kind of savory at the same time. It's actually pretty good. It'll do for me tonight. I'm going to sit, have a drink, read a little bit more. Just veg. Yeah. And she tastes much better than it looks. Cheers. It's been a pretty quiet evening. By the time I was finished with dinner, it was dark outside. Not snowing lightly. Not too bad. I've kind of just hung out in here, read some books, just cleaned up my kitchen because I made a mess of that earlier. Oof. Um, I can't recommend cooking that if you don't have water to clean up. Kind of turned out to be a little bit of a mess. It's almost bedtime. I'm going to 
climb into bed. I'm going to read in bed and just chill for a little bit. So I'm going to say goodnight. Unless anything diabolical happens, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It was an interesting night. I didn't sleep particularly well. Mostly because I'd switched my pillows to this end. Uh, I'm on a bit of a downward slope and thought it would be better to have my head above my feet. Um, but that kind of threw me off because I'm used to sleeping in a certain way in a certain side of the bed and now I'm on the other side and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway. I woke up this morning, it was really cold overnight. It was about uh, minus eight degrees. Um, it's currently nine o'clock in the morning, minus five. It was snowing, just a little bit of kind of snowy, sleety, not pretty stuff. Not too bad though. I have a quiet morning, I think, this morning. Um, I've got a project that I want to try out. If it works, I'll be able to extend my camping trips in the summer. So this is an exciting one for me. Uh, but I'm going to have another cup of coffee. I'm going to have some breakfast. And then hopefully it'll warm up enough for me to mess around outside in the snow. More new neighbors coming in, going snowmobiling. This seems to be a common staging point as this is the end of the plowed roads. Okay, so these are the toys that I want to try for today. If you're not familiar with it, this is a Starlink system. Uh, it requires 120 power, and it's pretty heavy when it comes to inverter and pulling juice from my batteries, which I'm a little nervous about. So I purchased this unit, which is a power bank that runs Hopefully, a full amount of electricity for the Starlink. Why all of this? I'm one of those lucky people that work from home, largely based on a computer. If I can get all this running, I should be able to extend my time in the mountains, particularly in the summer when it's nice, by an extra day or possibly two, where I can work remotely using the power bank and not affecting the power in the camper. Let's give this a try and see if this works. So one of the challenges, of course, is that this needs to be inside and this needs to be outside. I have this pass-through window here and both the screen and the window actually slide out for that. Got my towel here. My thought is that if I put a towel, just this little cord through, I should be able to maintain temperature here. Again, while we're out experimenting today. Okay, so this normally faces north. North is that way behind you. So I'm gonna set this up and see if we can get it working. The sliding window is on that side of the truck, so I had to go across and around. Let's move this in front of the truck. There's quite a few uh, trucks here with snowmobiles. Let's go see if we can get this loaded up. As you can see, quite a busy morning for other trucks coming in and loading their snowmobiles. There's even another truck around the corner. Okay, here's our core coming in. And then what we'll try to do is keep some heat in. And let's plug this in next. Plug that in there. As you can see, Starlink has moved which means it's trying to connect. 
Okay, so I finally got Starlink set up. A bunch of updates and some account changes and all that stuff. I don't really use it much. I bought it as a just in case. Um, I've been running it for a little bit. It seems to have settled in. Now this unit will give me approximately eight and a half hours, eight and three quarter hours, something like that left to power Starlink. That's enough for an extra day's work, which might get me into the mountains on a Thursday instead of a Friday. So this is cool. Um, I don't think I'll be able to extend that much more than one day, but I'm looking forward to spring and summer camping where I can get away for a three day weekend instead of just a, an overnight. It's been a pretty uneventful weekend. Lots of traffic around, lots of trucks, lots of snowmobiles. Not the best place to camp. But I got out, tested a couple of things I want to do. I got to test the new steps. I got to test the battery and the Starlink. Both of those went well, so I accomplished what I wanted to do. Time to go home, get ready for the week ahead. Thanks for spending the weekend with me. We'll see you next time. Have a great week beyond your front door.